Welcome to the third video in our pre-instruction video series. This video is going to go through one strategy for solving addition problems using mental math. It's really important that we go through the strategy because we're going to be using it a lot later when we do addition, but also when we do multiplication. So um, stick around and watch that. However, I want to make very clear also that this is just one strategy. There are other ways to solve addition problems. And this is just one way. Here we go. So here is the title of the lesson. It's a lesson 2-3, and we're going to be using mental math to add. Uh, the learning target is we're going to be using the break apart strategy right there to add mentally. The best way that seems to work is to show examples of the break apart strategy in action. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to jump right in with an example. All right, so let's suppose we're going to add some two-digit numbers here. Let's suppose we're going to have 36. We're going to add 23, let's just say. So I could, of course, you know, stack them up and add them. And I'd get my, i get a 9 here, and I'd get a 5 here, and i get 59. Okay, that's great. That's nice. This is, works really well for paper. But what we want to do is we want to be able to do this in our head a little bit. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in my head, and uh, hopefully something will stick. So here we go. We'll take, we're going to choose one of these numbers to break apart. Uh, let's choose the second one here just because it's the second one. I'm going to break it up into its tens and ones. 23 has two tens and three ones. So I'm going to break that apart to its tens and ones. I'm going to have 20 and 3. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of those numbers and I'm going to add it to the 36. So I'm going to take the 20, let's say, and I'm going to add it to the 36. So that's really easy to do. What that looks like is we go 20 plus 36. So 36, 46, 56. So now we end up with 56, and we still got a plus the 3 in there. So 56 plus 3, that's equal to 59. Hey, that's the answer that we had over here in the beginning. So we can kind of check our work here with the standard way to do it and then the mental break apart way to do it. When you do these in class, I'm going to have you work it out on paper to show your work. But eventually the idea is that you're going to be putting all of this business into your noggin. Okay, so now that you've seen an example of how to do it, I'm going to do a partial example and for the exit task for this video, you get to complete the question. So uh, I'm going to choose two different numbers. Let's do 72 plus 18. We're going to break up 18 into its tens and ones. So down here, I want you to, in the answer, the question is, what would this be? And then what would our final answer B. So there's three parts to this question. Remember, you can re-watch these videos as many times as you like. Good luck.